Hey guys, I'm Mace and welcome to episode number one of my West Brom career mode in EAFC 24. Which feels weird saying, instead of saying FIFA 24. But it is what it is. Um, the last time I did FIFA career mode on West Brom, I believe was in FIFA 22. I think I did one in 23. Uh, but we're back, and this time I'll try our best to see how we do. And complete it. Okay, I think I only did two episodes for the West Brom career mode as well when the last time I did it. So we're going to try and uh, complete this time round. I've started a bit early as well of the obviously FIFA game coming out or FIFA C the EA game coming out. Um, so I'm going to try and keep up to that and obviously try and make it a regular upload well every other day or something like that. We'll see how it goes though. Um, but anyway, uh, let's head into this career and see objectives that we have for this season. So for the youth development, the objective for a short term is to assign two players in the youth academy assigned to defend the position, which I kind of do agree because right now. I feel like with Bartley obviously getting close to these, I guess, retirement age to a certain degree, we may need someone to obviously replace them. Now, hopefully, if we get someone from our youth academy, it would be great to obviously kind of uh, uh, take his position, which would be amazing to see. And for a long term, it's, uh, within two seasons, signed two youth players to a senior team, play them in 10 matches either as part of the starting 11. Or we can technically do that with the the short term uh, of the objective to a certain degree. I'm not sure we can do, of course we can. But obviously we'll try and get some other players as well, like a strike and whatnot, if need be, midfield, whatever it is, we can obviously try and do that as well. For brand exposure, it's to sign one player outside of Europe. Okay, it's not a bad, bad objective. We can sign someone from South America or something like that, possibly. We'll see who we have in our youth academy. Will that technically count? We'll see if it does. For content, obviously got none. For domestic, it is to gain automatic promotion to the Premier League, which would be nice if we could do that, but I don't know how we would do as FC. Generally... This team seems good. It has to be strong enough, in my opinion. But you never know how it is in this game. So we'll see how that goes. And FA Cup is to reach the round of 16, which I think is achievable as well. But again, I don't know what I have to prioritize. If it's going to come to the point of prioritizing the championship, which I will do uh, to win that and whatnot, then FA Cup may become like a sidetrack and whatnot. Maybe like a side thing, which I won't really focus on too much. But we'll see how it goes. If we don't do well in the championship, obviously the EA, the FA Cup will be more of a thing I would try and focus on. But we'll see. And finally, sell two players. And sign two crucial players to replace them and finish the season with without any unspent transfer budget. Wow, okay, cool. So that's a bit of a challenge. I think that's more of a difficult thing, to be honest with you. And to make a 6.8 million profit from youth player sales within two seasons. That's, even that's difficult. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, youth players don't go for that much. And if, if we're lucky to have good youth players, then that's possible. Otherwise, it's gonna be a challenge in itself to try and make a profit. So I don't know how, it's, how we're gonna do that, but we'll see. If it comes, if we promote ourselves to the Premier League, possibly it might be more achievable to do the second one. But the first one, obviously, I don't know. I'd rather keep the team as it is and not do it. But obviously, I'll let you guys decide that. So if you guys have any recommendations to sign certain players, let me know and sell players and whatnot. Let me know in the comment section down below. So the youth team right now, we've got uh, nothing too special to be honest with you. Only one player here, which seems decent, is our CDM here, who is clean. If, I say, if I'm saying it right, I feel I am. Um, they're technically even... Uh, the Lawrence, right? Lawrence is actually quite good as well. Not bad with playing the keeper, but we'll get Lawrence, you know. Lawrence, I might sign. Even this keeper, I think Lawrence is obviously having, you know, what, 11 reigns already overall wise. Then I might just, you know, I'm going to sign Lawrence, you know. We're going to promote him to the senior team. And we're going to promote um, Clean as well. But I'm tempted to sign Guerrero, if I'm saying his name right, because he is Ecuadorian. See if that would kind of tick off the objective of signing and the play outside of Europe. I don't know if that would, because he has the only player. Oh, actually, Hassan as well. Hassan's got high. Uh, no, we'll go for, yeah, we'll go for Guerrero. We'll see if that makes, I'm going to try and see if it makes a difference. If it does, then great. If not, obviously, you can see where it goes. But yeah, that's what we're going to sign for the time being. So I'm going to pick the most uh, potential prize money uh, preseason tournament to join and the day. I feel like the difficulty is the same regardless. And I'm hopefully meaning it having more money means it'll be more difficult, which I think will be a good uh, challenge for us as well to see how we will do. So at least that will be an idea of who to sign and who to, um, I guess, prioritize and whatnot in certain positions and whatnot. And if we can get rid of someone, we can do as well. So we're going to pick this one and let's see how we do. So as you can see, we've got quite a lot of players here whose contracts are running out in less than a year's time. So I'm going to currently spend some time here and delegate these and obviously try and renew them so we can extend them to some time. See, I hate when it says no extension. Like, we should at least have, like, a year or two, which would be nice. And especially Bartley as well, which is a bit annoying. If he's going to return, it's different, but hopefully it's not. All right, then, guys, that's all done. 
But while looking at that, I realized a lot of players in this team that are coming close to basically going old squad. Typically, I mean, we've got quite an old squad here, even though technically they're not old, but in FIFA, in football terms, they are. So I feel like for this, especially defensively, look at Bartley, Kelly, and Peters. They're all quite old players, so we need to try and find a way to replace them at some point. And obviously we have a J Hedge, which still has a few years in him. And obviously we have Kipri as well, um, who's only 26. So we still have technically players here who could take the reins, obviously take control or not at some point. But we definitely have to try and make sure our players are, I guess, replaced throughout this career mode at some point. Like I feel like the first season, obviously, if we do well, we could obviously promote ourselves to the Premier League. Next season, obviously, we'll take depending if you're lucky we'll finish mid-table and the year after that we could have to try and uh, maybe contend for the title and the year after that maybe we would win so take, I'm expecting the quickest way for us to actually win this if we're lucky enough is two years which is not going to happen and practically it could be three to four years and then maybe five, six years which has been obviously most realistic um, in sense of um, I guess with this career mode and stuff so that's why we need to make sure our team is replaced and obviously replenished with younger players who can technically replace our current squad so obviously let me know who you guys obviously think maybe even at young times i currently have good potential who we can sign hopefully they can grow with the team as time goes on so guys right now this is a team that is the default squad and as you see we've got um we have an abundance of midfielders and defenders in my opinion right now in terms of like the certain positions that we've got we've got i think four center backs We've got, I think only is it one right back maybe, I'm not sure. I know we've got two left backs, obviously Reach and Townsend. A right back, well, I don't think we have anyone else, do we? Who is it? Oh, Pippa, he's a, a player. He's 72 rated though. He's higher rated than Furlong, which doesn't make sense. I don't know who he is. But I guess we'll uh, give him a chance to play as well. Midfield, obviously, we've got, we've got Mo uh, Molaby. Is that it? Molaby? I'm saying, I'm saying his name right. This is a new player I've never heard of. Yakuslu? I might be saying his name wrong. I do, but hopefully I'll learn it as time goes on. Uh, Swift as well here. It wasn't in the last scrim when I did it. Um, but yeah, anyway. So we're going to head into our first game. We're going to make a little change. I'm going to change the formation. Because rule life right now, what's my using three at the back? And not um, four. So we're going to try and do the same thing here. Use uh, three at the back. And possibly uh, play Townsend as a left. I might, I might go five actually. Five at the back instead of three. So that way we can still use Townsend and Furlong. And Phillips can still play to a certain degree, I think. But we'll see. Okay, so this is going to be a lineup that I'm going to go with, guys. I know it seems a bit weird. I might try and push Mollaby forward a bit more high up on the pitch. So like a, not a camp, but like a centre mid. Um, That way, if he gets used... But I could actually play Swift instead. That's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to play Swift um, instead of Mollaby. That's what we're going to do. And so that way, we have a cam. And we'll make it more central, actually, this way. And same will go for this brother here. If I can make it more central, no, I can't before the thing comes up. We'll do that. Bam. So I know it's a bit of a weird formation. I'm going to give it a try. Hope it does well. And tactics wise, is it here we can do it? And tactical vision standard. We're going to go for wing play because we're going to try and focus on how, because if I have the back, we're going to try and do that. Um, and we'll see how that goes. We won't keep everything else the same for the time instruction, but I'm not going to do too much yet. We'll see how we do. And yeah, with that, we'll be heading to our first game in our preseason tournament. So before we head to our first game here, guys, be sure to drop a like. Um, if you like off the episode, we'll keep it on 15 likes for the time being. It's starting off, we'll keep it 15. If you're excited about a new series, be sure to drop a little like, guys. And also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, guys, please, please do. We're trying to reach 2.5k by the end of the year. That's the goal. And hopefully, we'll achieve that. We're not that far away from it. We're currently on 2.2k. So I really appreciate if you guys had helped me by doing both of those. If you've done both already, I appreciate it for doing so. Also, let you guys know this whole series will be on tactical view. I will not be playing any games myself. Maybe the like, the key games, like obviously the the finals or whatnot, I might play myself. We'll see. I ain't great currently. Ain't gonna lie to you guys. I'm really bad. I don't know what it is. I'm struggling. Um, so obviously, maybe if I get better as time goes on, I might do it myself. That those key games. But for the time being, we're gonna keep it on tactical view for everything. So with that all being said, let's enter our first game here in the preseason tournament. Let's see if we can get an attack going on early on. Ashanti on the ball now. Looking for options, gonna pass it, you can pass it, you can pass it. Oh my god, this guy, what is he doing? Okay, that's fine. I should, okay, that's fine, at least we got a throw in, I think it is. We'll take it, we'll take it. But he could have passed it to Townsend there, don't know why I didn't. Phillips though, he's got the ball now. Beautiful pass to Townsend, Townsend, release it to Ashanti. Ah, why do you have a shot? It's coming, Townsend. Pass it again. Shoot, and let's go! Let's go, people! 
Lovely goal there from the man Ashanti there. England had a bit ropey in the beginning. I don't know what he was trying to achieve. But luckily, uh, they played really well. That pass from Furlong, though, that's what I say, from uh, Phillips, though, was beautiful to Townsend. I ain't gonna lie, that was a beautiful chop. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what Shanti was trying to do there, but luckily the ball obviously rebounded to Townsend. And I mean, a lovely little goal there. We'll take that. A lovely goal. And looking promising so far. Looking promising so far. Okay, they got a run there, cover that run, luckily didn't pass it. Had a shot there, an easy save for Palmer, the easy, easy save. Kicks into the middle of Ashanti. Oh, my guy, I just see he's physical, is he strong? He might be strong, you know. I know he's got pace on him. But Ashanti looks solid so far, man. He's got space, come on, run Ashanti, run, run. Why would you, I guess fine, fine to Phillips. Give him options though. Phillips here, looking for options, lovely. Have a shot there, oh, I thought he scored there. If we got a second goal there, actually you know what, so far I ain't gonna lie, with Ref Prom, this seems promising. Right now our team looks really really good. I mean, defensively we're quite solid as well, attacking wise we're creating options and chances. And yeah, I mean, so far the two or three chances that we've had, that we've created, seem really really good. So hopefully this would, I mean, we might have a good season on our hands there and obviously we don't mean have to sign many players. So Shanti here, come on, oh, why didn't you release the ball? Should have passed it or something. Might have been nice. Oh my god, let's go. Lovely. Shanti coming. There's literally a man in the middle. Pass it in the middle. Pass it, pass it, Shanti. Lovely. Swift, have a shot, lad. And he scores, making it 2 0. Let's go. A lovely goal there from the man. Swift in. A lovely cross. And Shanti being involved in two goals. Let's go. A lovely, lovely goal. Come on. Lovely. So far, we're obviously keeping tight on them. We're not allowing them to obviously create many options. Crosses in. Lovely. They're easy for Bali. Easy. Not clearly it well though. Come on, let's still have the ball. Get the ball off of them. Don't let them have a shot. And oh, what? Okay, let's go. We're lucky there. Palmer did save it, but I guess a powerful shot which he couldn't fully stop. We well, luckily hit the post. Can we counter from this though? Beautiful. Swift there. You got space. Come on, Swift. Oh, he's not as quick as I. Oh, what was that for a touch? Never mind. He's still got it back. Can he get it again? Yes, he can. Swift, man. Come on, put in a shift. Love that. Wallace there, ah, it's heavy of touch there. Swift there wins it, Ashanti, have a shot lad. And he scores making it 3-0 just before the end of the first half. Let's go. Swift though doing, bro, my guy Swift is putting a shift for us, man. I'm liking the sound of what I'm saying as well. I'm liking that, I might be a quote for the, the series. Swift putting a shift. But yeah, man, look at him, like, he, he's fully on the case. Didn't give him time to breeze and whatnot. And yeah, man, and Ashanti there, uh, I guess, Capitalizing on that mistake, and we're now winning 3 0, man. Lovely start. Second half, so far, we're doing amazingly getting a 3 0 lead from the first half. Thanks to Ashanti, man. Ashanti being involved in all three goals. Ashanti being currently mad the match of this game because of how amazing he has done. I ain't gonna lie, Swift as well. For my last, my last goal, I'm a fan of him. Like, he, oh my god, what a pass! Can Wallace, a uh, furlong, sorry, get to it, he can. Lovely, finds Wallace. Wallace is looking for options, he finds Swift. Back to Swift again. He finds Ashanti, beautiful. Ashanti, have a shot. Ah, oh, damn, if he had his actually, that would have been amazing. Right now, let's see, this is the best game for us, the best start for the season, or for the preseason tournament. And that means a great, uh, I guess, confidence boost as well for the team, the morale thing, whatnot. Lovely Ashanti. Ashanti looking for options, Swan Swift. Back to Ashanti. Swift again. Ashanti. Got some space, he runs. Looking for options. Passes it to Swift. Never mind, leaves it. Has a shot. Straight at the keeper. Come on. Should have an easy goal there. Ah, oh, damn it. Loses the possession there. Hope he's not injured. I think he's not. A bit exposed now at the back. Don't like this. Oh, I don't know what Bartley's doing there. Bartley get to him. Bartley stop him. Damn it. No. Damn it, I was hoping we had a clean sheet for the first game, but sadly not. It ends up being 3-1, which is not great at the current time, you know I mean? The whole game, defence had been phenomenal, except for this part here. I believe Kepri and Bali, I don't know what they're doing. They kind of let the man run past them, giving him space and allowing him to obviously capitalise on their mistake. Damn it, and with that being, it's now 3-1. Looking for options there. Finds Ashanti, beautiful turn there from Ashanti. 
can't really create an opportunity there. Pass that wide to Phillips. Phillips there now. Went into the corner flag. Looking for options as well. Crosses it in to Ashanti. Ah, he couldn't control it properly and loses possession. Back to Ashanti in the middle. Ashanti there tries to do a, a chop, I guess. Run? I don't know what you call it. But yeah, trying to get past the defender. Couldn't do it though, sadly. Lovely there. What an interception from Uyuk Sulu. If I'm saying his name right. Ashanti there gets the ball somehow past him. Has a shot and he scores, making it 4 1. Get himself a hat trick. Let's go. Let's go. What a lovely goal there. What a performance from the man Ashanti. Let's go. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm really gassed right now. I'm actually really excited for this series. Just from this performance so far. Like, we have performed so, so well. Like, cannot even ox for a better performance right now, man. Now, look at that. Consistent and that like, pressing it and whatnot and doing for no rest of goal. A lovely goal there. A lovely finish as well from Ashanti. I mean, overall, the way the team has performed, especially up front, seems solid. A midfield team side as well. You can't ask for more. You can't ask for more. We made a few changes though, guys. We took off Ashanti at the perfect time as well. He's just about got his hat trick, which is phenomenal. Brought on Dyke, um, taken off, I believe, Phillips for Dan Garner, taken off Peters and Barley for Kelly and Kipri. And I also took off Oyux Oku. Oh, wait, how? Oku Sulu? Oku? Oku? I can't buy it. Anyway, that brother for, <laughs> for Moat. I need to learn his name. That's one thing I'm going to do for sure after this episode. Is definitely trying to learn that brother's name. Come on. Don't let him shoot. Lovely to Kelly. Covering that angle. And Palmer there. Lovely save. Passes it to Swift. Swift there. Finds Dyke. Dyke here. Out wide to Dean Garner now. Dean Garner. Just a beautiful pass to Dyke. Finds Moat. Moat through. Has a shot. And he scores. Making it 5 1. What a beautiful strike there from the man Moat. Let's go. What a goal. If I'm saying his name wrong, I think I was saying his name wrong. I might have been. Moa? Moa? If I'm saying his name wrong, I do apologise. <laughs> okay, come on. A lot of damage. got a pass thing there. Cross it into the box, but lovely and easy for Kelly to clear. Swift there. Beautiful. Bro, what a game, people. Phenomenal result and a great, great result in the sense of, like, for Shanti, man. Gave himself a hat-trick. Like, look at him, man. I think he was involved in four goals, if, if I'm not wrong. Yo, where's the ball? Yo, EA fixed the game, man. This just came out as well. I guess it's going to have bugs and whatnot. Fair enough. But come on, man. Don't ruin the moment for Ashanti. Look at him. Ruin it for him. But let's go. West Brom there doing phenomenal. The baggies must be pleased and whatnot. Obviously, with the results and whatnot. Can't ask for more. Okay, guys. We'll sim the next two games here, people. Um, and we'll play the game against Bristol ourselves. So I'd rather do that. But see how we do. Hopefully, we'll win those games, which will be nice. We didn't. We lost against... Uh, the first team. Let's see how we do against Granada. How do we do? Hopefully we did well. We lost as well. That's fine. It's not not a problem. But overall wise, we've done quite well. And we're going to play the first game is against Bristol City. So here's the team as it was against the the game. I've got the team we played against already now. Damn. Whichever team was. But here's our line. We'll keep it as it is. And let's see how we do. First game in the championship for the season. Let's see how we do. I mean, I feel like... The, the result. Oh, it's got Wallace. Great aggression already. Come on. Ran down the wing there. Looking for options in the box. Tries to fight the defender there. Damn it. Couldn't cross it in though. Fell on there back to Wallace. He finds. Thing there finds Phillips. Has a shot. And he scores. Making it 1 0. Famines into the game. Let's go. What the hell? What a beautiful strike there from the man Phillips. And this guy wants to be a rotation player. If you guys don't know, if, I don't know if I'll show it or not, but. Basically, he ought to be a rotation player. But this guy does has this capability. I mean, you're not being rotated. I mean, you're gonna play most games, my guy, if you're doing this type of stuff. But what a strike, top right corner, beautiful finish. Come on. A lovely goal from the man Phillips there. Let's go. And with that, we're now winning 1 0 against Bristol City. Let's go. Don't hold back. Just because we're winning 1 0 doesn't mean you have to be comfortable. Oh my god, what are you doing? Who was that? Who, who, who was that? Number 10. I need to find who number 10 is. Is that Phillips? Maybe. Okay, never mind. Never mind. No, it's not Phillips. Phillips is on the ball. Who is number 10? I need to find this out. Because my guy is left and did something stupid. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, what a save, Palmer. What a save. 15 there. It's like, yo, have a shot, mate. Look at 50. Look at, look at him. Like, yeah, you go have a shot. What is happening here? 
A lovely save there from the man Palmer though. Lovely. Night here on the ball. Come on. Cover the shot angle. Oh my god, he's clear. No one was marking him. No one. What? Is that, is that Peters? Peters. Okay. Don't know what the guy's doing there in, in on it, but it's fine. But Peters, mate, you've got. Who is that? Who is that? Is that Townsend? 15. Again. Is that Peters? That is Peters. You melt. How have you. Bro, why is Peters moving Buki? Like he's done that and basically. He's the only. Like, bro, have you been. Have you been offered money or something? Because that makes no sense. Why is this guy. The first time. The first, obviously, Palmer saved it. But he was the one who moves out the way. Like, yo, have a shot. And then this time. Same thing again. I'm going to have to keep a close eye on this guy. Because it's not looking looking good. Give him support. By closing. Yo, don't just let him run. Lovely the Bali. But why did they just let him run? Shanti looking for options. Release the ball. You can release the ball, you know, Shanti. Shanti, you can release it. There you go, lovely. To Sansa in here. Beautiful. Find Swift. Again, release it to Shanti. Beautiful, Shanti. Finds Townsend. Look for Shanti. Pass it. Just, oh, never mind. He scores. Let's go. I take it back. Let's go, Townsend. My guy. Come on. Lovely. I was like, he's going to miss the goal there. I thought he's going to hit straight at the keeper or something. But my guy did a, I mean, bottom left corner. Pass the keeper as well. A tight gap. Yeah, let's go. Beautiful goal there from the man Townsend. I apologize for doubting you. I apologize. I was about to scream like pass the ball. But it's fine. Come on. Keeper there. Even the keeper must have thought what I was thinking. He might have thought this guy's gonna pass it. Instead of shooting it. But you know, never mind. Townsend. I mean bamboo is both of us. Both of us. And with that we're now winning 2-1. Let's go. Okay, now defensively. I'm Peters, bro. I'm keeping an eye on you, mate. I'm, I can see him. Just don't be the Maguire of our team. That's what I'm asking for. Just don't be the Maguire of this team. Again, give him options there. So don't be right next to him, man. Move out of the way. Peters. Peters, bro. This guy is a fucking problem, mate. Why is Peters literally getting in things way? Like, Peters, why are you, first of all, why are you so far up the pitch? Wait, why is Peters there? Bro, what is, what is Peter on today, mate? Peters, mate, you need to go home. Come on. Don't let him get past you, Bartley. Oh, okay, thank God. But Peters, mate, what is this guy on? I might have to take this guy off, you know. I might, I mean, that's the one more mistake, one more problem I see from this guy. And you're going off. And Shanti, beautiful. Fell long now. Running down the wing, I guess looking for options. Need support, but never mind, he takes a corner, we'll take a corner, we'll take it. Because I'm contemplating whether or not it's Peters, you know. Because if it was, why would Peters be in midfield, especially on the right side, not left side? Why would he be there? He's left. He's the left centre back. Come on. Can okay, capitalize a Wallace though. Come on, Ashanti. Botley. Oh! Uh, he couldn't keep it on Swift. Damn it. I mean, so far we're looking good, man. That's all I gotta say. We're looking so except for one one problem. I mean right now, I think it's Peters. Yeah, I mean we're, we're gonna double check this at the end of the game. Who's number 15? Because I'm thinking it's Peters. We'll see if the is Peters! You melt. You best get rid of that. Peters, you are a weak link on this team right now, mate. You best pick yourself up. Because you would want to, oh, I want to be important in the time. Then you best pick yourself up, mate. Alright, that's all i got to say. Looking for options here. Wallace, is he onside? He's onside, luckily. Furlong here. You're holding the ball for too long here. Don't like this. Furlong now. Come on, do something here, guys. Get past to someone who can shoot. Have a shot. And let's go. Phillips getting a second goal in that game. Beautiful goal there. It felt like it was forever. They were passing it around. Furlong and Wallace were. But luckily, they're able to capitalize from it. And a beautiful pass there from Faith. I don't know who that is. Best goal. Lovely goal. Okay, I'm going to make a few changes again. We're going to take off Phillips here for Dean Garner. We're going to take off Swift for uh, Moat. We're taking off Peters as well, finally, for, uh, <laughs> for Kelly. And I believe we took off Furlong as well. For um for reach because he looks a bit tired, but you know what? so far the result has been phenomenal for us. The camera angle looks a bit different, if I'm not wrong. It looks a bit more high up. Let's try and see if I can change it back. Never mind, it's a stain. Come on, what a save, Palmer! Beautiful. Isn't me, but the camera angle seems a bit higher up than it was before. 
I don't know. I can't tell. But I think it is a little bit for some reason. Feels weird. Okay, cross it in. Easy there. Ah, oh, couldn't get out though. Lovely save, Devon Palmer. Beautiful save. Come on. Another corner. Get rid of it straight away. Come on. Moak, get to it. Lovely Moak. Come on. Has a strike there. And a save, Devon Palmer. Palmer saving us right now near the end of the game. I mean, doing a shift. Yeah, the camera angle seems messed up. I don't know what's happened here or how it's happened. Like, it's changed again. It's changed to what player boy. What, what is happening? But, I mean, we'll leave as is. It's the end of the game anyway. But it changed again. I think every time, I think it doesn't even make changes as a player. I don't know, maybe. But here's what it is. A lovely start to the season, people. A great result for the lads. Phillips there getting two goals. Um, I believe... Who was the other guy? Townsend getting one. Who's the third? Who's the, who's the other person? Who was the other person who got the goal? I can't think now. Was there Shanti? Was there Shanti? No, it was only two, three goals. My bad, not four goals. We were three. Never mind. I got everyone there. But Phillips there putting... First goal was phenomenal. Second goal was decent. And Townsend goal was beautiful as well. My guy, I mean, so far, this team has done well. At least every time we've been there viewing the game ourselves. You know what I mean? So, so far, I mean, a great, great, great start to the season. And in my eyes, I don't think we need to replace... Except for Peters, though. Peters is the problem. So, guys, I'm planning to sell that man. You know what I mean? I don't want a Maguire our team. You know what I mean? He is definitely the West Brom Maguire so far. From what we can see currently. My guy went, first of all, moves out of the way for the first chance. Then the second one, same thing. Allowed the player to have it. Yo, have a shot, mate. Third thing he did was he was playing in midfield when he was supposed to be a defender. Which, why? You know what I mean? Make him, give him possibly create more pressure for uh, Bartley and a J in the back. So, I mean, overall-wise, this first game hasn't been a good showing for him. So he needs to either improve or he needs to, I mean, he needs to get rid of him, mate. So one of the two things, I'll let you guys decide that in the comment section down below. You guys can tell me what to do with the man Peters. But he's a problem. So guys, that is going to be the end of the episode, people. A great episode, in my opinion. A great start to the season. A great start to the league. Obviously, winning 3-1 against Bristol City is a great, obviously, result. And obviously, a great morale boost for the team. As the Phillips doing phenomenal. And obviously, uh, overall-wise, we've done great, man. We've done phenomenal so far, in my opinion. The only player I have a problem with right now on our team is Peters, man. This man here is a problem. My guy was just all over the pitch uh, doing dodgy things in the box. You know what I mean, I don't know. I don't know if we should keep him. But I'll let you guys decide that. I'll let you in the chat or comment section decide what we should do with him. And who we should buy and sell, guys. Because right now, I feel like the team is quite good, in my opinion. We've got a solid team for the championship. In the Premier League, maybe not. But for the championship, I think we're solid. But I mean, I'll let you guys start in the comment section down below and let me know. If you guys see someone's comment that you agree with, be sure to drop a like on that as well. So obviously that way, obviously, it kind of prioritizes it. And obviously, I know people are, are agreeing with that comment as well. So do be sure to do that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, make it easier for me to know which one I should do. And if you guys are new to the channel, guys, the... The thing I do on my channel is the POE, the play of the episode of each episode uh, near every Chroma that I do. And at the end of each obviously Chroma season, I do a play of the season, a POS. So obviously that will, I guess, accumulate for all the players, or a POE, that obviously get uh, win stuff and whatnot, depending on each episode. And so nominees for this episode will be uh, Ashanti, Phillips and Swift. Um, obviously you can vote for them in the community section on my channel which should be out by the time this episode finishes or whatnot should be there so if you guys can go there obviously you can drop a little uh, vote as well and let me know who you guys think was the period for this episode and with that all being said guys I hope you guys enjoyed the episode be sure to drop a like be sure to subscribe people and with that all being said peace people